Greetings technophobes and technophiles to another episode of Tech Dad Inc, the channel that aims to keep you guys and gals safe whilst trying to navigate the ever-expanding cosmos of modern technology. Today's video is going to build on the last video which was about sending your GPS location via various applications. This week I'm going to show you how to request someone's GPS location using a neat little app called Tasker. It takes a little bit of setting up but once you have it it's really handy. Best thing about this method is it's all done via SMS. Now SMS runs on the GSM network, which is the same network you use to make phone calls. So if the target handset either doesn't have access to web data, or doesn't have a data plan, or simply run out of data, this task should still be able to work. Interesting fact, the first SMS was sent in December 1992 over the Vodafone network, and it simply read, Merry Christmas. Enough with the knowledge, let's talk about Tasker. Okay, so here we are on the Tasker download page for the Google Play Store. This is where you're gonna download and install Tasker. It does cost a bit of money, it's about two quid, but that's a small price to pay for the amount of functionality you get. So we're gonna switch over to the main app. This is the main app of Tasker. Now, the two parts we're gonna concentrate on are profiles and tasks. Now, um, let me just tell you what Tasker does. Tasker is an automation application. And I didn't know that was gonna rhyme. So what it basically does is it will automate various functions of your phone. Um, for example, when I, when I arrive home and my phone connects to my home Wi-Fi, what it will do is it will turn my volume down. It will turn my brightness down it will disable Bluetooth and it will disable GPS. And then when um, when I leave my house and it disconnects from home Wi-Fi, it will put them all, up, all on and up. So you can do simple things like that, or you can do extremely complicated tasks. You can, I've read ones where people arrive to their, um, when they're two minutes from their house, it will automatically open their garage door for them things like that. That requires a lot of programming and stuff, but we're gonna use a simple functionality because the task you're gonna need, is I've already built it for you, and I'm gonna put a link in the description. You can just download it and import it, which is what I'm gonna show you how to do now. So we've got profiles here and tasks. The profiles is the, the contexts are, this is the events that are gonna trigger the tasks. And I'll come back to that in a second. Right now, we're gonna import a task. Now a task is, um, it's a series of functions that you want the phone to perform. So I'm gonna hold the task um, tab and then it gives me the import task. I'm gonna tap that. And this is the task I've got location. And there we go, it's imported that task and that should do that for you as well. I'm gonna open this task and just take you through what it does. So these are the five, um, uh, tasks or the five um, operations it's going to perform in order. So first, we've got flash. What that's going to do, it's going to flash a message up on your phone that simply just says, location requested. You can delete this one if you want. You don't need this one, but you, you, can, you can put it in there. I put it in there because I was playing about. Second, location mode. What this is going to do, it's going to turn your GPS on if it's not already on. And we're going to, it's going to set it to high accuracy, which is what we want. Then it's going to grab your location. So we're going to use this get location v2. So these are all variables. We don't need to know about that yet. Timeout. So this is set to one minute. So what this will do is it will try and grab your location. If it doesn't do that within a minute, then it will say task failed. We can't get your location. Minimum accuracy down to two meters. That's fairly accurate. Uh, enable location if needed, that is on, but we've already set another task up to do that. And continue task after error. So this was just, we'll continue the task if there is an error. Variable set. Now this little thing, now variables are, some would say they're the glue that hold tasker together. Um, it is just a, a variable, um, it can be anything. It can be a little bit of data that can change. So what we're doing now is we're setting a variable and the variable is going to be called location speed mph miles per hour 
And then that variable is, what it's gonna do is gonna take a built-in variable in Tasker, which is location speed, and it's just gonna change it from meters per second, which I believe is what Tasker would normally use to, and it's just gonna do a quick little calculation and change that to miles per hour. We wanna tap this one, let's just do math, so that's gonna do the calculation for us. So that's just gonna change it so it's miles per hour, which is a more readable format, which is what everyone is used to. Uh, and then SMS, send SMS. So in here, the number, you can, this is another built-in variable in Tasker. What this is, is this is gonna to reply to the last number, the last incoming text. But you can change this. You can put a specific number in here, so this will only send to a specific phone number. Um, but I've just got it to reply to um, to the last incoming text. And this is the the message it's going to say. It's going to say, "I am here." Then it's going to be a link to your location. And I'm traveling at, and this is where that variable comes in. The location speed in miles per hour, and my battery level is battery. You can select which SIM card you want to send this off if you have a dual SIM phone and run two SIMs and continue task after error. So that's the task set up. Now what we need to do is we need some way to trigger those tasks. So I'm going to exit out there. I'm going to go back to profiles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this task to trigger on an incoming SMS. So let me just add a new task. So we're going to select an event and I'm just going to type text because receive text. So that's what we want. So type any. Yeah. So we can have any, you can have it set to just SS, SMS or MMS sender. So you can have this where it only triggers if the message comes from a specific sender. Now, obviously that does, there is security implications of leaving it blank. That means you anyone can trigger this task if they know the keyword um, and the content this is the keyword now i'm going to put uh let's put star where are you so that's going to be the key phrase so if any text comes in from any number with that phrase star where are you it's going to trigger this task and then we need to do now is it'll automatically ask you can you assign a task to this please yep and we're just going to set that to location so that profile is set to location and that's it that's how simple it is so i've just put another little task in here just to show you how this is going to work so this is just um just part of it slightly modified so what if i push play here it's going to run this task as if it would when an, a message comes in so it's turned my location on it's got my location it's set the variable and it's sent the sms now if i move over to my message and app you see this is what you would send i am here and it gives you that link and if i follow that link it's going to pop up google maps and there you are I am in today, where am I? I'm in sunny Gibraltar, celebrating Dillian White's win over Alexander Povetkin. Good night that was. So that's it. And like I said in the intro, this works via SMS. It doesn't, you don't need web data for this. All it is, it grabs your location and just sends your GPS coordinates via SMS to that person you've set it up. And this is great for... Um, just say older kids that you, you, that you don't want them sharing your location all the time. Or you don't want them sharing their location with you all the time. You want to give them a bit of autonomy, but in an emergency, you need to know where they are. They are. You can set this up. Just trigger that text and you can, you know where they are in an emergency. It's a really simple task, a really simple thing to do. Um, any questions, any problems, put something in the comments and I'll try and get back to you. Thanks for listening and have a awesome day.